We find it very insulting, Mr. Speaker, to be branded as unfit to manage our sovereign affairs or have other motives in pursuing our national interests. Australian media is on about Solomon Islands uh, is being pressured by the People's Republic of China to build a military base in Solomon Islands, which is only 2,000 meters, kilometers away from the uh, northern shores of Australia. That's Australian media, Mr. Speaker. Where does that nonsense come from? The security treaty, Mr. Speaker, is pursued at the request of Solomon Islands government. We are not pressured. We are not pressured in any way by our new friends. And there is no intention whatsoever, Mr. Speaker, to ask China to build a military base in Solomon Islands. Goodness. We're insulted. We have no intention, Mr. Speaker, of pitching into any geopolitical power struggle. To suggest it, Mr. Speaker, is simply ludicrous. As a sovereign country, Mr. Speaker, we will continue to collaborate to ensure that what Solomon Islands needs in its security space are addressed collectively. So I would like to make it abundantly clear that Solomon Islands security arrangement with Australia remains in place, intact. But in moving forward, Mr. Speaker, to achieve our security needs, it is clear that we need to diversify the country's relationship with other partners. And what is wrong with that?